What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Star Wars Battlefront 2. Today I got two different things I want to cover. First of all, the patch for tomorrow, which will be 1.31. This is going to be the nerf to Anakin Skywalker and some changes to a few other heroes. Not a massive patch, but a big one. Just kind of overall, especially kind of concerning Anakin. The other thing I want to talk about is the May calendar update. I will talk about that towards the end of the video. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the patch news first. I will link the patch news and the May update news down in the description below if you would like to read over either one of them. But let's go ahead and get into the patch news. First of all, the uh, balance damage and cooldown values of Anakin's abilities have changed. Increase the recharge time of Heroic Might from 14 to 18 seconds. Reduce the friendly damage charge up speed of Retribution from 2% uh, per 100 damage to 33% per 100 damage. Reduce the health increased stats of the Tenacious Star card from 50, 100, 150, and 200 to 25, 50, 75, and 100. That's a pretty big decrease there. Uh, reduced Anakin's lightsaber damage from 140 to 130. Reduced Anakin's massive strike star card bonus from 10, 15, 20, 25 to 5, 10, 15, and 20. Delayed the effect of retribution by 5 frames. Fixed an issue where damage from sources other than enemy players caused Anakin's retribution ability to charge up and Anakin's retribution ability now has a maximum value increased per event or per damage event. These are some pretty significant changes in my mind. Hopefully this will knock down some of that just ridiculous Anakin spam where you cannot defeat him whatsoever. It seems to be I'm not good with heroes and I can do very well with Anakin. We'll just kind of put it that way. So people that are really good are probably still going to be good with Anakin, but maybe he won't be quite as strong now. We'll just have to wait and see till the update tomorrow, and we'll know for sure once people start playing with him. Now, some other things that uh, are hero changes that will be coming tomorrow will be fixed an issue where Count Dooku's exposed weakness had no cooldown period when activated while dashing. Fixed an issue that prevented Darth Maul from blocking when under Obi-Wan's mind trick ability and fixed an issue where boss could defeat other heroes in one shot if the player zoomed out right before boss fired the weapon that was fully charged so those are some other things tomorrow they're going to be changed not too many massive hero changes i think the rest of the big hero changes of course are going to come at the end of the month and that's where we're going to kind of get into the news of the may kind of calendar finally being released and letting us know when the big update is and what kind of the game holds for the rest of this month the large update will come out in on May 22nd. I'm sure that's when some of these other hero changes we've heard about probably will be kind of released. Some of them maybe will be released before then, but I'm sure most of the big changes probably besides Anakin will be on May the 22nd. Also, the new map for Capital Supremacy will be released then. They will have a couple events between now and the end of the month. They have a fast, a fast spawn event, which uh, kind of, offers blast and strike it's going to be a weekend event you're going to have fast respawns of one second a foot soldier event towards the middle of the month will have no ground or air vehicles in capital supremacy or galactic assault and last but not least at the end of the month they'll have double xp for heroes and villains and uh, triple xp for starfighter modes so those will be two good things if you're wanting to rank up some other heroes what rank up some of your air vehicles um some of the TIE Fighters and things of that nature. So those two events are going to be at the end of the month. But like I said, the Anakin patch 1.31 will be tomorrow. The other big patch for the month will be on May the 22nd. And like I said, I'm assuming that's when they'll probably do some of the other updates that we've heard about to some of these heroes. Like I said, they may do them before then. But as of right now, that's kind of all we know about, you know, what heroes are going to be in tomorrow's update. Hopefully, guys, this helped you out with some of the information. Like I said, I will link both of these kind of things, the patch for tomorrow and the May updated calendar that DICE and EA has released. I'll put this down in the description below. Of course, guys, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And if you have not uh, clicked that bell icon up in the top right corner, please do that as well. That way you know when all my videos go live. YouTube is kind of weird sometimes to not let you know when some of my videos are up. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.